All right, this question is saying that we've got four boys and four girls, and we're going to we're trying to figure out how many ways we can line them up if they have to alternate. Okay, and there's no other restrictions here. Now, if they have to alternate, and we've got four boys and four girls, uh, bef before we decide kind of the permutation there, we got to figure out well, what gender comes first? Okay, so we have to choose our gender first. Choose a gender first. And there are two choices. Okay. Now, once the gender is chosen, it actually fairly straightforward. Um, so let's just say, because of the way this is written, let's say we choose the boys to come first. Now, of the boys, once we've chosen the gender to come first, we know that we have to alternate. So that's, I don't even have a choice of that. The only thing that I have a choice over here is which of the four boys comes first. And there are four options. Then I have to choose which of the four girls comes next. And then which of the three remaining boys, three remaining girls, two boys, two girls. And then there's just one boy and one girl left. Okay. So it's basically at this point here, just a matter of placing the individuals there. And this is the same as two times four factorial times four factorial.